Does the power of prayer really work? One group in North Texas has serious doubts, and they've issued a challenge to local churches to prove them wrong. CBS 11's Jay Gormley has this story new at 10. A challenge has been issued. We're constantly inundated with, I'll be praying for you, or we'll be praying for, for you from all of our Christian friends. The Metroplex Atheist and its 500 members are challenging any church in North Texas to pray that one of its non-believers will become Christian. So this is a chance for them to demonstrate that what their claims are actually work. Terry McDonald has offered to be the test subject. Christians push the button of prayer all the time. Uh, we'll have the National Day of Prayer in a few days, and uh, uh, we kind of like to push back and let them know that uh, it, it doesn't work as well, <laughs> it always work as well as they think it does. Dr. Darrell Bach of the Dallas Theological Seminary finds the challenge amusing. These promises about prayer aren't carte blanche, you get anything you ask for. They're much more complicated than that. Even the Metroplex atheists admit, sure, they're looking for some publicity. Why? Well, they say they're out to prove that they're not the devil trying to ruin the world, that they're just like everyone else, except they don't believe in God. Pastor Robert Jeffress of First Baptist Dallas says his church has no plans to accept the challenge because it's based on the false pretense that all prayers are answered. The Bible doesn't promise that. The Bible promises that God will answer every prayer that is within his will. The Metroplex atheists say they don't expect a church to jump at the offer, but who knows, miracles do happen. Jay Gormley, CBS 11 News. The Metroplex atheists are giving any church, should they choose to accept, three months to a year to pray for Terry McDonald's conversion to Christianity.